Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope all of you are doing well today. This is your preview for tomorrow's game, Arsenal versus Chelsea. And uh, as you can tell by the tone, um, I'm not very excited. Why? Pfft, we've all heard the news, haven't we? Which I'm going to come to. But before we get into all of that, before we get into what the latest news is with Chelsea and what Pochettino's confirmed in the press conference and how we know we're heading into tomorrow, which is uh, laughable, at least, um, what an evening it's been so far in terms of the news that is blitzing everywhere. So we've heard that Thomas Tuchel seems to be very keen on a move to Man United, as well as... He's happy to come back to Chelsea, according to Florian Plettenberg. That's that. Mourinho's done an interview. Whilst in the midst of that, John Terry has been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame. And um, there was a lovely clip from Jose given to JT and JT started crying. I mean, if that doesn't epitomise what Chelsea used to be, nothing will. Uh, crazy, crazy. It, it was emotional. It was emotional. Um, but huge congrats to JT on being inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame, absolutely deserved, beyond belief, without question. One of the greatest defenders the world has ever seen. So that's that. Alongside that, we now know Thiago Silva, as Fabrizio has confirmed, um, is going to be leaving at the end of the season. And he even decided to stay in January when he had the chance to go, just to try and help some of the young players out. Man, Thiago. Love you. But it goes to show he's in the same mindset as all of us. We're seeing it in the same way, you know? Experience has to help out the youth. But everyone else at the club, nah, that's not how we're doing things. So <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but not just that. It's managerial man merry-go-round, like I've already said. Man United, Thomas Tuchel, perhaps, maybe, maybe Chelsea, although I think there's more chance of pigs flying. Um, Ruben Amarim is being targeted by West Ham. Now... I didn't believe it when I first read it. When I, first read it. I was like, nah, this can't be true. This, this is someone's bluffing. They're bluffing. P Portugal CNN, apparently, bluffing. Apparently not. He's on a plane right now. Right now, at this time of recording, he's on a private jet to Stansted, where he will be meeting with West Ham and he will be meeting with Liverpool. West Ham. West Ham have gone in for Amarim. And there's, he's interested. Clearly, he's interested. I mean, it's... We're going to keep Poch. <laughs> we're going to keep Poch. Or we're going to get the Zerbi. One of them. One of them. Um, I, what an evening it's been. I'm already tired. I'm already tired. Right? And I haven't even started the preview. I'm already tired. Now let's get into the preview. Let's get into the preview. I can keep this really short and sweet. I can really sum this up in one sentence. You know? But I'm not going to because I don't want to make this video two minutes long. And I, I don't want to leave you guys too early. <laughs> I've got to be honest, for your benefit and for mine, you know, if you guys enjoy the content and for me, I enjoy making it and even in terms of uh, getting something out of it, I would need the video to go on for longer than eight minutes. So, <laughs> it's, you know, it's a win-win situation for all of us if I were just to keep rambling on. But I can sum it up very quickly if I really wanted to. Cole Palmer is out. He's going to be assessed. He's out. He's out. We know what that means at Chelsea. When someone's getting assessed, they're out. It's done. It's done. It's done. You're on the sidelines, mate. Two weeks at least. See you later. He's, he's not playing. Gusto's being assessed. Listen, Gusto's got a knee problem. He's finished for the season. <laughs> he's finished for the season. Bye. Mano, we'll see you next season. We'll see you next season. Come to terms with it. Just come to terms with it. We're not seeing Mano Gusto again. If he's got a knee problem, he's done. That's it. That's it. We've got what? How many games we got left? 31. Got seven games left. He ain't playing. He might make the last one. Maybe the last one. Who do we play in the last game of the season? Bournemouth. He might make that, I guess. If not, goodbye. He's out. So that's Gusto out. Palmer's out. Even though he, he's, he's got an illness. Apparently he's got an illness. Although I heard somewhere else apparently say he's injured. Now what is it? Is he ill or is he injured? Anyway, he's out. Um, and even Poch in his press conference said, even if he were to be okay for tomorrow, it's, it's, 
He, he can't say for sure if he's going to feature. He won't feature because this is Chelsea Football Club. When someone's out for five minutes, they're out for a week. That's the simple. That's, that's, that's just the truth. So that's that. Um, we've got no right back, um, active right back, um, and no one to rely on, which means Arsenal, uh, easy day at the office, I'm guessing, right? Um, there's no one we can rely on. There's no one we can rely on. So this should be a straightforward win for Arsenal, right? <laughs> it's just, I'm just, you know what I'm doing? I'm eliminating all pressure. All pressure, that's... Just get rid of it. 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 Out the window. Out the window. We're at the FA card. Did, look, without Cole Palmer, what have we got? Let's, let's be honest. Without Cole Palmer, what have we got? I, I'm, I am going into this game. Now, now that Cole Palmer's out, I am going in with zero expectation. I'm dead inside. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Even that, even that possible chance of doing something on the day, it comes from Cole Palmer. He's not playing. Gusto's not playing. I've got an 11. I've got an 11 that I think is the best alternative we can turn to, but I'm sorry. When I just I look at that 11 on paper, there just isn't anyone that's going to get us the game. There just isn't. There just isn't. That's just, I'm just being truthful now. Right, I'll, I'll show you my 11, and after I'm done, you're going to look at it and go, yeah, we're not winning. <laughs> we're not winning. And you know what? If this was middle of the season, yeah, maybe. Maybe if Arsenal have a little bit of an off day. Listen, they're top of the league. They've had less rest than us because they played their game after our game against Man City. We finished, and then they started their game against Wolves. They won 2-0. They're top of the league, although Man City still have to play their game in hand. But this is more reason why Arsenal need to win tomorrow. Because that's going to build a cushion, which will allow Man City to play their game in hand and still be behind, then play their game while still having that gap, which isn't too large, if City were to win the two on the row. So this is where Arsenal have to win. And you know what? I'm honestly not looking forward to playing against Kai Havertz, Jorginho. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. Because they're, they're going to be up for it. Now, I don't expect them to, to light it up. It would be criminal if they did. It just would be criminal if they did. I don't expect them to, but I expect them to be part of a team that's going to get the result tomorrow. I just am. Now, if we go to the injury news for both teams, for Arsenal, Tommy Asu may return, apparently, um, after he picked up a knock. And apart, apart, apart from that, there's no one else. Timber is their only definite absentee. Everyone else is available. Everyone's fine. Um, Chelsea, well, no Cole Palmer, uh, it seems. Um, he had the illness. And Gusto is out. Oh, yeah. Ben Chilwell is out too. Yeah, there we are. Ben Chilwell's out too. What happened to him? He's got the same knee problem that he's always had, basically. It's come back again. So, listen, Ben Chilwell, uh, at this point, do you even play football? My, my man, do you, do you even play? Like, <laughs> you might have to reconsider your career path at this point, mate. You know, you might have to really readjust things. And I'm saying this in a little bit of a sarcastic tone because I do think he'll be okay, but he's not available and I don't think we'll see him for the rest of the season now. <laughs> this is the reality. Um, mate, if you can go and do surgery, go and do surgery. Go and do surgery, you know? Um, so we've got no fullback that we can turn to. Uh, Nkunku is back in partial team training that means he's just come out of rehab uh, Sanchez similar situation and Ugochuku similar situation we won't be seeing them for the rest of the season either that's just the reality so what, what, what have we got what have we got what have we got let's get into the starting level let me show you what I have come up with I've come up with this yeah I've just I've come up with this as the alternative and the only thing that I can see possible of us doing tomorrow. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Here's my starting 11. Right. <laughs> this is it. Petrovic in goal. Um, Kukurea left back. Thiago Silva and Chalabar I am leaving uninterrupted. I don't know about you, but they look somewhat stable. You know what I mean? Even against City, they were all right. Keep it up. I would rather them then have to try and put the sassy back in a team or Bally Shile and then risk tons of mistakes. Uh, no. Silva and Chalaba have actually been decent. But we can't stop everything, can we? That's just it, you know? So keep them as it is. Now at right back, I'm going to do the bold thing. If I was Pochettino, I'd do this. I would do this. What, 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 do, what do we possibly have to stick at right back? Because tomorrow we know what we're going to see. 
Tomorrow we're going to see one or two things. Tomorrow we're going to see <clears throat> Chalabra at centre back and De Sassi at right back, who's going to get twisted by either Martinelli or Trossard or whoever's going to be on that left hand side for Arsenal. Or we're going to see De Sassi go into the middle and have to pair up with Thiago Silva. Chalaba goes right back and more than likely going to find a defensive blunder in the centre-back pairing when De Sassi probably heads it back to his goalkeeper and it trickles into the net or something crazy, right? I would avoid all of that and I would call up Josh Achiempong from the academy. Achiempong, 17 years old. Dynamic right back, at least at academy level. Listen, we got no one else to turn to. Josh, you're welcoming. You're welcoming. When you look at him play, he's a right back, and he's decent. For, as I said, for his level, he's decent. He's actually, he's actually really decent for for his level. But to try and stick him into a Premier League game of this magnitude, I'm not going to be expecting miracles. But he's a right back, and he's quick. So I would. Mate, this position is ready for you. Even if we're playing Arsenal, I'm not playing the sassy at right back. I'm just not. We already saw the last game that we played and you could see what Jeremy Doku was doing to the sassy. At, at times, it was starting to look painful, right? I don't want the sassy being turned into a pretzel. So I would rather go with Josh Hachiempong at right back. He is a right back. He's fast. He can keep up, I think, at least to some extent. Play him, play him, play him. Do the bold thing, just play him. And no one would actually blame Pochettino. We've got no one else we can play at right back. Even if we were to think about playing Ben Chilwell on the, on the opposite side or Kukurea on the opposite side, we ain't got anyone else because now Ben Chilwell's out. <laughs> so we, even, we haven't even got another left back to turn to. Guess what? Ian Matson's over at Dortmund. You get the gist. So that would be my centre-back pairing. My defensive uh, line as well. I would play Caicedo alongside Gallagher. Listen, Enzo had a stinker and clearly there's something not right. I don't know if it's his head. I don't know if it's his hernia. I don't know if he needs surgery. I don't know if he's unfit. I, I don't know what's going on, but he looked horrendous. And I would rather, rather play Gallagher deeper alongside Caicedo to do the dirty work and help Caicedo out whilst ahead of them, Chukwameka. Because Cole Palmer's not playing. Chukwameka in the 10. Cool. If Cole Palmer can't play... Chukwameka goes into the, into the tent. Simple as that. If, especially if Gallagher has to drop deeper, Chukwameka goes into the tent. Cool. Now, the front three, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm just going to say this now. I'm not playing Madueke. I'm sorry. I think Madueke, on the ball, could probably be the best suited player. But I'm sorry he's not playing. After what we saw, the second piece of shenanigans in the space of days, right? First, it was the whole penalty incident. And then it was what we saw when Thiago Silva was bawling his eyes out and he was having bats with Jack Grealish as soon as the final whistle. I'm sorry, man, but there's bigger things than tactics or what you bring as a player. Or like, like, do you care? Do you care? This is why yesterday I was asking, where are the men? You want to know what the men are? John Terry. John Terry watching a clip of Jose say that he's proud and, and working together for six years and what he offered and JT more than any other deserved to be inducted and he was watching that clip and as soon as he put it down he said that's emotional and he started crying his eyes out even afterwards going you know what to this day I'm still scared of him sometimes that, that's the respect that's the acknowledgement that's the, uh, the levels the, the heart as Angry Right Man would say, the passion, the, the, the mate, from, it comes from the heart, it comes from within. He gives a damn. More than a damn. This is JT we're talking about. We shouldn't even put him in the same breath. But you get the gist. Where, where have those players gone? They're not here anymore. But even, even, even at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, right? Don't have bants with someone immediately after the full time whistle, you've just been knocked out. You should be pissed off. So Madueke, I'm sorry, you're not playing. You're not playing. There needs to be a serious look at how players are getting educated. What players are we bringing in? What, what, what players are we, are, we, are we targeting? Who are we allowing it to Cobham? <laughs> Who are we allowing to play for Chelsea Football Club? It's mad. So because of that, Sterling goes on the right. I haven't got a problem with Sterling on a professional level. 
Sterling actually is, a, is, is as, a, as a person, we already know, is a, is a nice guy, is a nice lad, and he's serious. He's serious. The problem is his footballing ability. <laughs> the problem is his footballing, not, not, sorry, I take that back, not his footballing ability, his footballing decisions is my problem. His footballing decisions. During a game, what he decides to do on the ball sometimes winds me up, right? Not sometimes, most times. That's my problem with Sterling. But you know what? I'd rather that. I'd rather have a footballing problem than someone who I doubt cares. I'm sorry. That's just the hard truth. Some people are going to try and say, no, he does get... No, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. So, Sterling, on the right-hand side, to, in order to accommodate Mudrik on the left-hand side, you know what? I'll... Who's our forward? Who's our forward for the academy? <laughs> Who's our academy? Now, actually, you know what? Now, you know what? I'm going to do this live. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do this here. Sorry, Jackson. Actually, I've just had a. Uh, I've just had a brainwave. Right, I'm changing him to David Washington. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? I wouldn't be entirely against this. Stick Jackson on the left and put Washington up front. Because clearly Jackson does everything right up until having to put the ball in the net. <laughs> up until that final decision, right? Similar traits to Sterling here. But on the left, he looks somewhat effective. So you know what? You know, you know what? I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I, have, I think I have more trust in Jackson on the left than Mudrick. And David Washington, mate, go and score goals. Score goals. You're up, you're up front. You're up front. So there we are. I've just makeshifted live for you guys uh, on the spot. That would be my starting 11. So let me know yours down in the comment section below. Much appreciated as I give you guys my prediction. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest here. I'm not expecting anything. Cole Palmer's out. Gusto's out. Pfft. Arsenal fighting for the title. Uh, nah, nah, nah. At the Emirates. Listen, the Emirates. I'm going to say this. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this with chest. Arsenal at the Emirates. The Emirates is, I think, on par with the Etihad, the hardest place to go in the Premier League. Some would say Anfield. I think Liverpool can be beatable sometimes at Anfield. But there's something about the way that Arsenal, when they smell blood at the Emirates... They just go all guns blazing and you can't stop them. Like, some are going to filter through. You know, it's like they throw 11 men forward, including the goalkeeper, and you just can't close all of them. Like, three or four are going to make it through you, whether you like it or not. And then one of them is going to score. That's the, the, the pressure that you get applied on at the Emirates. And I think we're going to have that tomorrow. And look, without any sort of outlet, I don't expect us to score. Uh, maybe, maybe one, but... Even then, who? This is why I'm going to be completely real. I'm going to be completely honest for tomorrow, guys. I'm not going to shy away from this one. I'm my honest prediction here. And this is, going to, this is going to hurt. So if you don't like brutal honesty, turn the video off now. I'll give you three seconds. <laughs> I, don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're sticking around, isn't it? Now you're sticking around because you just want to hear it. Well, you know, don't complain. It, after, after I've said this, don't go, oh, no, Eunice, no, you can't say that. Why did you? No, I, I warned you. you. You have a chance to turn the video off now. You have it. Turn it off. Go on, turn it off. Turn it, if you don't want to hear my, my brutal truth, turn, turn it off. You're still here. All right, listen, if you're still here now, yeah, you've only got yourselves to blame. Shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> Arsenal 3, Chelsea 1. I have my honest prediction. 3-1 Arsenal. Without Cole Palmer, without Gusto, without these guys, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't see how we do anything <laughs> against this Arsenal. I, I just don't. I just don't. So, I'll be here tomorrow. We'll go through it. I hope Chelsea win. I'll be here for 90 minutes, making sure that we flip and do things correctly. Uh, you know, or, well, not, not making sure we do things correctly. Me making sure that I react to us hoping we do things correctly. That's all I can do. But I'm going for you on Arsenal. My honest prediction. Let me know yours down below. Much appreciated. And I will see all of you tomorrow. For the watch long. We'll be there. Bring it on. I'll see you then. Have a good one, people. See you tomorrow. Take care. And peace.